to me. Gay is in, gay is hot. I want some gay, gay it's gonna be. Hello everyone, it is it is Friday. It is Friday, we are all having a glorious day. Um, let's say hi to a few people and then I, I wanna get to those questions. I know a lot of people had some questions, you know, some things that they were dealing with in their own life and how would I have handled it. Now, the best way I can explain it is we will go into it the best that we can and we will work through it together. Sophia, good to see you. Psychic Sauce, Jamie Steele. Wow, first time ever getting a first like. And Liz, you're one of my most inspirational women I've ever had the pleasure to listen to, and I can't wait for your book. I love that you're thinking for a book, nudge, nudge. Um, but for me personally, I'd rather be here with each and every single one of you. You know, um, we all have ups and downs in our, in our lives. We all have goods. We all have bads. We all have times that we wish we could take back and times that we wish that we had gone forward. But the trick is, is doing it together. Um, so hopefully that'll help. And when we get to those questions, me and Taz, uh, just stopping in to say hi. I'll catch you on the replay. Well, it's always good to catch everyone on the replay. Girl, love Pika, Pika, love Pika, Pika. Love that. Um, Sophia Mewtwo. Poet, always good to see you. Peter, I wish. It has become like it went from this awesome scavenger hunt to like this stupid nightmare that the ex, the property owner and the, you know, uh, property management company are playing you know, this disgusting game of hide and seek. Um, when I try to tell him, I'm like, look, this is a birthday present specifically for me. I'm trying to, to get it and see what it is and, and do the respectful thing. You know, it's, this was given and they're like, oh yeah, we'll work something out. We'll work something out. And I was like, I'm sick of you guys saying you're going to work something out because nothing ever gets worked out. Um, I also did receive um, someone wanted me to get the tattoo for Pearl and everybody else, and especially for KK. Um, so I'll be scheduling to do that as quickly as possible. Um, we're going to put a little bullhorn in it for Pearl because I want her to, you know, not everybody could have her octave. Um, Portland SB Melody, I am so sorry for, for what you're having to go through. The amount of pain that must be caused in that and Hopefully it leads to something better. Um, hopefully I can give you like one of those amazing hugs. And if you ever need a friend, please definitely reach out at, you know, savebobferris at gmail.com. You know, bad times hopefully can create good times. And this will always be a safe space. Betsy, good morning from Myrtle Beach. Jen Marie, so good to see you. Julie Markham, so good to see you. Chrissy, never in Newton. I am working. Uh, bummer. So happy to get to see your face. Um, I'll tell my hair clients all about F Sinto. That's right. Sparkly unicorn farts. I made it. Thanks for the extra love today. Always. That's what we do, right? That's what we do for each other. Uh, need some happy today. We all need some happy, Jen. Barry. Hi, Liz. Hope you have a great weekend from the UK. London. I do love London. I love the history. Tom, Tammy Anderson, Jen, the journey 2020, Heather Rhodes. I think we're almost caught up. And Michelle, oh, hello. So basically the questions that I got asked to give you a, a, a better understanding, I put them in the, I put them in the main thing or the main description. Um, the first one was, how would I respond if someone indicated they no longer wanted to maintain a friendship and a familiar connection? So basically, no, someone wanted to say that they no longer wanted to be friends or family. Um, that is everyone's particular choice. Like if my dad suddenly said he didn't want to be my family, at least he would say something. Um, if people don't want to be my friend, I'm a lot to take. Like who you see right here in front of the screen, that's really is who I am. It's, I'm goofy, I'm dorky, I'm a nerd, I, I like, you know, sci-fi things, I like Pokemon, you know, it, I could be a lot to handle, um, but I also have a lot of abandonment issues, so for me, it's, you know, if someone doesn't want to be there, I'm not going to force them to be there. It's kind of like the abusive boyfriend, you know, 
there's a part of you that thinks that you can change. Well, whether it's a boyfriend or girlfriend, I should say, or whether it's both or whether it's none, whatever the situation may be. Let's say that there's abuse going on in the situ in a situation, whether it's physical or emotional, you know, like in your head, you know that this isn't right and you shouldn't have to deal with this. But then at the same time, you're like, I can change them. I can change them. You know, look what love has done for me. It's changed me into the person that I am. But the person has to want to change. It's kind of like doing a chore. You have to want or care enough about doing the chore to actually do something about it. When you don't want or care for it, then all of a sudden it's, you know, it, it's something that you don't strive to make sure is taken care of, you know? Uh, the second one, how can I approach someone who has caused, who, how can I approach loving someone who has caused them significant harm or pain, pain or harm? Um, if I've caused someone pain or harm, I'm truly sorry. Um, that's never my intention. And sometimes we all, we all mess up. None of us are perfect. We do the best that we can to try to help each and every single person. Like me personally, my mom and I are are getting closer than we've ever been. And for me, not having a family member to lean on, and now I have like Carrie and I can lean on her with just about everything. I can tell her when my stomach doesn't feel good. I can tell her when I'm having a bad day. And she tells me she loves me. And, you know, we do everything that we can do to keep the communication going. You know, everything has ups and downs. Um, so I hope that answers the question. And if not, it leads to more questions where people can ask them. You know, there is a third one. What goals and aspirations in relation to healing process following experience of hurt and betrayal? Um, whether there's hurt or betrayal, I promise. Um, it just takes time. It, it honestly takes time to trust someone again. Um, it takes time to you know, want to give yourself a hug again. And, you know, the best thing I can, I can say is that no matter how much pain you're in, you've always been through worse because think about it. You know, if someone t gives me pain right now, if someone, if someone tells me they don't want to be my friend, they don't want to be in my life and you know, is it going to hurt? Yes. It's absolutely going to devastate me. But at the same time, I've been through worse. And that's what people seem to forget is sometimes when shit gets thrown at you, you've been through worse. You've been through worse, whether it be abuse, whether it be the hands of emotional, physical, whatever it, whatever it may be, you've been through worse. So if you can survive the worse, then you can absolutely survive the better. And so hopefully to the four people that I'm trying to message out there and the four people that uh, needed to hear that they weren't alone. You're never alone. I'm struggling every single day. Um, Blake, so good, so good to see you. Love for your squirrel, UK. Hello from Sweden. Zenu free. Is Zenu free? I'm just saying, isn't he in a prison? I'm just saying. How long did it take to forgive my mom? I'm still working on it. So so far it's taken 44 years, but it's literally the difference is, is now she's she's been trying for a couple of years and I've just haven't been willing to accept her trying. I've done the whole, it's not enough. It doesn't make up for every scar. It doesn't do this. It, it doesn't complete me, but you know what, what, what completes us would literally be a family. And that's what we have here. We have friends that we can talk to Emma Robson. Hi Liz. I'm glad to see you're doing better. I, I am doing a lot better. Um, my therapist has helped. Um, knowing that I'm going to be getting the shots has definitely helped. I have the second opinion on the 17th and hopefully my doctor gives me the clear because I've been downing vitamin C like it's going out of style. Um, because the main goal is for me to be better for the nightmares to stop and for me to be the best person that I can be. And am I going to stumble along the way? We all do. That's what makes us human. We wouldn't, we wouldn't be here if we didn't stumble at some point in time because stumbling teaches you a life lesson. And maybe that life lesson wasn't something that I knew before. Like I joke about weird things because I don't quite understand them. 
And then when people tell me, oh, that means something different, I go, that, 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 that means what? You know, because it's, it's hard for me to accept. I have recently come to the terms with, yes, I grew up in a cult. I grew up and I'm a little stunted on emotional connections with people. I'm also on the spectrum. And because I'm on the spectrum, guess what? That puts me at being unable to understand a lot more things. And if I can understand why it doesn't make sense in my head, then I can change who I am in the future. I can't change what I've done in the past, but I can change my future and I can change, you know, what we look for in the future. Now, what we look for is having a safe space, being able to talk to someone as friends and family. Um, Terry Ray, what are you baking? Uh, Butterfly 7431. <laughs> I just wanted to say, uh, love you and Carrie. We love you too. We are, you know, we are doing the best that we can. I can imagine, uh, Blake, I must be, I, I can imagine it must be difficult to accept someone's trust as a parent when they've put, yeah, when they put that role back on for, yeah. We don't know if it's temporary. We don't, you know, and if my mom passed away tomorrow, I would be devastated. Because now she's becoming the mom that I always wanted, the one that I could have a conversation with, the one that we can say, look, this is what happened to me at this age. And you know what? You didn't do anything. And that hurt my feelings. Um, hey, you did this and you gave me a reason to cry. And then you gave me an even bigger reason to cry. So I want to take that away and stop blaming her for shit that happened in the past because we can't change the past. We can change the future. And for me, church fundraiser. Oh, okay, you're, you're listening to a church fundraiser? What is going on, guys? I'm thinking Carrie just got home with the kids. Macy, Macy, stop. Uh, beautiful, beautifully broken. I just found out my dad has stage four cancer, three months to live. I haven't spoken to him in years. My wall is so high. And you know what I would say? Just try. And if honestly, it doesn't give you what you wanted, if honestly, it, it the love is not there, then at least you did it for you. Because how much would you regret if you didn't give, give a chance to at least say your piece? And maybe your piece is literally what you did to me was wrong. Maybe your piece is I will always love you for being my dad, but I don't love what you've done. Maybe that is the, the piece that you need. Okay. Um, the journey 2020. Okay. Part one. I love part one and twos. Um, my mom hated hugs. She was given three months to live feeling we never exchanged, but the caretaker before I came in to help me express my feelings. I asked my mom if she loves me and she, oh, this is where I need the other part. Let's go to the question. Psychic sauce. Does your mom still believe in the cult? She does. Um, she does not believe. She she does not consider herself a Scientologist anymore, but she does believe that some of LRH's writings is real. Some of her wins are real. And you know what? I'm not going to take that from her anymore. I'm not because you know what? We only have one life to live. And realistically, with that one life, I don't want to spend it hating her. I don't want to spend it hating anyone. Um, because if I were, if I were, okay, knock on wood, if I were to die tomorrow, would I want to die knowing that I hated someone? Because hate is such a strong word. I dislike some of the things that I've experienced as a kid. Um, Yes, the dogs are barking and getting mine to act a fool. Yes, yes, um, mine are acting a fool because I just heard Carrie's voice. So I apologize. Hopefully that's, it's better. Um, Tampa Bee Man. Okay, nothing about you is phony. You say it like you see it, right or wrong. You tell the truth um, to the best of your ability. You inspire me. Tampa Bee Man, you inspire me. Just like Pearl, she inspires me. And Pearl, if you watch this, um, hello, hello, I need you to wake up. We got a graduation to do. 
And I've, I've got some yelling to do because, well, I got to listen to you yell and be in the chat and make sure nobody acts a fool. Um, let's see. Pika Pika. I love that you guys are all here. But yes, we are all working the best that we can. You know, does it suck growing up in a cult? It does. But you know what? Each person has their own cult, has their own snake oil that they've fallen for. Um, beautifully broken, Julie Markham. I'm so sorry. My dad took a powder before I was born. I never bonded, was never close. He died of cancer before we could fix anything. I really understand. And that's the hard part. That is the part that terrifies me. Because again, my dad is trapped behind those walls. And because my dad is trapped behind those walls, are we going to be able to mend bridges before he's gone? And that terrifies me. Yes, Blake, Pearl inspires us all to be a little extra. And her laugh. You cannot even be in a bad mood when you hear her laugh and her giggle. And now Dan's snort. Like, I thought Carrie was the only one that snorted. And his snort is just amazing. Like, like they're just the, the best people on, on the planet. Selfless, playing music behind it. It was like hanging out like we were really having a bonfire. The Journey 2020 Part 2. A disgusting sigh and said she couldn't believe I'm asking that. She took a long drag from her SIG and then I again asked. She kept glaring at me and ran out of the house crying. She's passed. And you know what? That's her loss. You know, I'm so sorry for what you've gone through. But let me tell you, as a person that's experienced that kind of, you know, of course I love you. Well, you've never shown it. My grandma used to say that all the time. Of course I love you. You've never shown it. You know, with my dad, I know that he loves me. The trick is, is does the, does the church have more of a grip on him than he even realizes? Um, the journey, you are loved. You are amazing. You are a bucket of light. You deserve love and you deserve to be cherished. That unanswered question, you know the answer to. She loved you to the best of her ability. And may, that may not have been to the best of your ability either. Because again, I love more than my mom has ever loved me. I give more than my mom has ever given me. I give and you guys. I, I apologize, guys. I apologize. Um, the strength that it takes for all of us to move forward and realize that it's it's okay not to be loved in that moment. It's okay because we may not have gotten the love from them, but we can get the love from each other. Julie can give me more love than I've ever received. Blake, you, you can tell me that I'm amazing and that I smile funny. Um, having the kids load all of the recycle and just the trash to the back of your truck and they have fallen over to the dump today. That's punishment for not taking the trash out last night. Okay. You want to say hi, Hi, buddy. We're saying hi, everybody. We're, we're going to the dump. Isn't that exciting? I love going to the dump. It makes me so happy. It's like re reminiscing on my childhood because all of a sudden you see maggots and you see all that good stuff. Can you pray that you don't get it on your clothes? Because I cannot do that. Woo! We're going to try to go to the dump, everybody. Pamela. Oh, I hate that little. You're catching up. Uh, Tonka or Toka. Uh, hello. Uh, Jen Marie, the struggle is hard with love, accepting it, believing it. I'm working on letting people in. Yes. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. First of all, this man has the most beautiful laugh. Beautiful laugh. I am telling you between him and Pearl laughing, I was in tears rolling on the floor. Like it was, their laugh is so good. Dan, I love your laugh. Even though we were talking about the dump, the dump, the dump, 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 dump. It's a little, oh. um, if you have not yet subscribed to Dan, I know we don't have any mods in the chat right now. At least I don't think, um, I, I don't think I've seen anybody. Um, but if you have not yet, type in Dan Walks LA. I'm telling you, he's hilarious. That laugh. I got a six pack from all the laughing. I am telling you. I am telling you that laugh 
I, I wish I was in Texas with you guys. Being honest, I wish I could go to the Squirrel Fest. I would totally dress up like a squirrel. Um, and just to laugh with you guys, to be around that fire pit and talking like friends. Uh, I do call it the chuck it in the fuck it bucket. Because that's what I'm going to do when it comes to taking my truck to the dump and praying that I don't get maggots on any part of my body. Okay, my mother died when I was 26, and I had a bad relationship. I have my dad, who I love, but he's in Canada, and I'm stuck in the UK. It's lonely sometimes. You know what, Emma? You always have me. You can always email me at savebobferris at gmail.com. We can be friends. We can be pen pals. We can be sisters. We can be we can be cousins. Love you too, Dan. Love you too. Tell Tell Pearl that she needs to wake up. Yes, John, Dan is awesome. It's the laugh for me. It's it's the joyous laugh. Thanks, Beautifully Broken. Yes, yes. But yes, we, we all have our moments, guys. We all have our moments where, you know, have you ever felt alone? Have you ever felt like nobody had your back and nobody understood what you were trying to say to them? Because that's what it's like. When you're trying to understand someone, you're trying to talk to someone and they're responding like they don't understand. We understand here. They understand in the discord. I understand what you've been through. I've been through it myself. And you know what? There's light at the end of the tunnel because each and every one of you has given me a little bit more to smile about, a little bit more to be positive about. Some of you are screaming for my dad and you've never met him, but you're screaming for him because you know he's my dad and you know that he means the world to me and you mean the world, each of you mean the world to me as well. Yes, Julie, thank you so very much for subbing. Yes, it is all about sharing the love. Free Z or Zinu, Zinu free. Dan Walks LA, huge fan of yours. That's right. You better accept that love. Accept it. Accept that love. Dang it. Accept it. Because I'm telling you, I will tell a dirty joke. No, I'm just kidding, everybody. Um, yes. And my, my whole life too, my whole life, you felt like someone understood you. And then in the blink of an eye, they didn't understand at all. That happens to me all the time. I'm very used to being a space alien. I am totally, I am on board with that. Okay. I am on board. We are all, we are all works in progress. We are all on a journey to become better. Now, my journey become better is helping people where I can help them, being there for people if I can help them. I've never and I never felt understood. I sound whiny. Jean, Jen, you're not whiny. I promise. I don't feel understood half the time. It wasn't until Carrie came into my life that I realized that emotions were not something to be afraid of that emotions were not something to run away from, but something to actually care about, something to, to enjoy the moment in. You know, it's like when someone gives you a really big hug and it's one of those amazing hugs, you want to stay in that moment forever because in that moment, you've never been so loved. So just stay on holding that hug. And you know what? If you, if you get understood, if you, you're not whiny. I'm not whining, but I'm telling you, it hurts. It 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 creates a, a visceral response where it you don't feel like you're a part of the team, a part of the the group, a part of anything. Like if you don't blend in, then where do you belong? I'm sick of not blending. So I'm gonna I'm gonna stay doing what I do and I don't need to blend. I don't need to blend. I just need to be me. And that's what I'm hoping. I'm a weirdo lighthouse. My hair even looks like uh, a th siren now. Oh, emotions are felt. Yes. Yes. Emotions are huge and they're not something to be a fairy afraid of. And for the longest time, I was afraid of them because I just didn't understand them. You know, and if I don't understand something, then how can I? Oh, we got something. Miss Sunrise Dawn from North Georgia. Thank you so very much. And I think someone just got in the back room because I they might have been feeling like I was drowning. Um, but yes, it's 
you know, trigger warning, trigger warning, trigger warning, just in case I didn't say it. Um, but sometimes it's hard to feel. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> yes. Um, Jen Marie, I'm so grateful to people I have found. Um, thank you, Liz, Tampa, everyone. I've known what happened to me since January 2023. So everything is new. You know what? And and I have your back. If you're finding new information, hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, Sacramento, California allows for one free pickup a year. We live in an HOA. Now that HOA is also once a year, um, but it's only a garage sale you can have once a year. You can do a trash pickup once a year. Um, and because we've had the dumpsters out front, we've already gotten dinged. Um, they don't like us having the, you know, the, the dumpsters out front. So now we're just going to take stuff to the dump and I'm going to put some real shoes on, but I'm not going to put on my, my, my birthday shoes. Everyone, I got, I got myself an awesome pair because they were, um, of Uggs, um, they're having a 30% off. And then because I got the showroom model, I got an additional 20% off the 30% off or the, what was left over. So I got 60% off a brand new pair of Uggs. Oh, and I got myself a pair of shoes for my birthday. So I did treat myself. Um, okay. Hold on one second. If you don't find your people, you got to be in the place to feel safe for, and people will find you. Yes. If you are not, if you're needing a friend, sometimes, you know, you can't always find a friend when you're really looking for one, when you're desperate. I know I've been desperate for one friend. And now I have sparkly unicorn farts. I have Mandy. I have Summer. I have Heather. I have Dawn. Um, I have more Miss Sunrise Dawn uh, from North Georgia. Um, I have so many people. I have Jen. I have, you know, Pearl. I have so many people that I can rely on. What do you mean you don't have garbage pickup question? Um, no, we have a weekly garbage pickup if that's what you're referring to, but anything that we put on the street, it's, it's done nor normally towards the summer. There's only a specific time period that they allow us to do that. Um, and that just doesn't work with cleaning out the house right now. Oh, your birthday's on the 18th. You share a birthday with my mom. You share a birthday with my mom. And you know what? We're going to, we're going to treat you and have an amazing day. And you're going to email me and I'm going to get to sing happy birthday to you on the 18th. So bargain talk is my love language. I don't understand bargain talk. If you ask Carrie, um, I, yes, I, I got myself a new pair of shoes. It was amazing. Um, my teen says that she likes my idea. I'm going to protest so I can make friends. That is amazing. And that is beautiful, but do it safe. And if you need anything, if I have anything extra that you need, please definitely let me know. Um, I'm still going to keep my stuff like my Go GoPro and all that. I'm going to absolutely keep because eventually I will get back into doing it. I do want to schedule something for the Sacramento area, a um, little meet and greet and protest at the same time. Um, I have you on Facebook. Good. I should hope so, Melody. Um, I am going to try to get my mom to come on the stream right now. She is kind of adamant. She just wanted to, to keep it, you know, she wants to admit to everything over video. And then when she passes, she wants me to release it all. Um, but we're working on it. We're all working on it. Your mom loves my channel. That's amazing. Yes. If you have not signed the birthday card, this last, Oh, it's the last day. Last day to add a birthday message. Woo -woo! I'm telling you, birthday message. My family doesn't know about my YouTube channel. Hey, baby steps. I have a dumpy, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I fucking love that. Yes, Uggs are for the feet. Yes, yes. I've never treated myself to something like that ever. Ever. 
Um, normally what I like to do for myself for my birthday is I get myself one bottle of cologne and one new outfit. Um, but the outfit was a little bit more expensive than I had on, uh, a Macy's card. And so I was like, nah, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to get myself a pair of shoes. And then I was like, you know what? I'm going to get myself two pairs of shoes and we're going to skip the cologne. So this was the first year, first year with being out of um, the Sea Org because I've been doing it since I was 20, just so I have a cologne. Um, this was the first year that I didn't get myself a cologne. Um, so I'll get myself a cologne before the month's over. Um, there is a new cologne by Gucci, the, which I want to try. It's their brand new line. Um, and it smells so beautifully. Um, but they they have a new line. I don't know what it is about cologne. Bam. I don't know what it is about colognes, but it's been very important for me to smell good. Um, you know, it's like deodorant. I wear the scented stuff. And I like wearing the scented stuff. Yes, I did good, Jen. I definitely did good. Um, yes, Mandy is on it. Like, I'm telling you, between her and Summer and, and you know, all the mods, they are like, and then the, the bam, 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 bam. Um, I wasn't allowed scent. I wasn't allowed scents. And then I didn't wear scents around my mom because my mom is allergic. I don't know how long we're going to be able to. Whoa, 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 whoa. He just came in, everybody. It was his lunchtime. Um, you're highly sensitive to smells. Well, then I won't wear any cologne around you. Bam. No. Um. So sorry about that, guys. Um, hey, nothing wrong with that. I'm not big on cologne, guy, but the, I get headaches. Yes, I know quite a few people that get headaches, so I try not to. One of Carrie's dearest friends, um, she had had, like, something happened to her face where now she's allergic to all smells. And I mean, it could be a, she's definitely allergic to pineapple, but it could be the smell of pineapple, just like my shellfish, or it could be a smell of a perfume and she instantly gets a migraine. Um, the lights start killing her, everything. One of my friends uses incense. I will never do that to you. You're welcome at my house and I'll get rid of all the scents. Like my house will smell like bleach. Will that be okay? My pity is his ear purse hearing. Yes, yes, yes. He needs attention. Bring the fur baby. I would, but he needs to finish his lunch. Otherwise, what he will do is he will snack during the day and then he gets grouchy because he's hungry um from my ass equally smell um i will tell you the one smell that i cannot do is chanel number no. 5 that is that is my grandma's scent um it it for some reason i smell it and i'm instantly like <laughs> on you it's like the worst smell ever if any of you guys smell it i'm sorry if you guys like it he sounds like my hubby. He, he, yes, yes, he is a good one. Janet from another planet. How's everybody liking the purple now? I need to redo the blue. It's it's a wash and wear because let's be real. My mom has a serious problem when I do anything to my blonde hair because people pay thousands of dollars to get your natural hair color. Natural hair color. My dad bought Chanel number no. five for my mom every year and she hated it. Yes. Anita. Oh my God. Um, some dogs see their person talking on screen and get weird. Yes, he does. It has been a minute, lady. Yep. Oh, it's it's like a grandma perfume. I'm telling you, it's a grandma perfume. Yes, the purple, it's like purpley. I need to leave the blue in a little longer and just let it do its thing. Um, but um, although if you guys, oh, I'm popping you up. What are you doing? Hi guys. What are you doing? <laughs> I told you I was doing this. I had a feeling, I, had a feeling, but I, missed, the I green. missed the green. I, I, I know. I'm going to start graying out the ends and be like real spooky. Okay. Okay. <laughs> 
Okay. Okay. The green part, I had bleached that sides. I had bleached it so much it was getting really damaged, so I just decided. You did, did let it be reset. Like a little bit. Okay, I definitely understand that. Yeah. I understand that. All right. Well, I'm gonna right, get well, you off to finish. finish. I guess there's, I guess a, little there's echo. a little echo. So for all of you, that is the amazing, amazing Mandy. Yeah, she looks amazing. But the hair thing, I don't deal well with change, guys. Like, you guys act like I deal well with change. Okay. Blake Reed is always sweet. Oh, I'm echoing? Am I echoing, everybody? Oh, who knows? Uh, Fluffier Squirrel. Thank you, everyone, for coming. Um, not anymore. Okay, good. Sweet. Okay, just had to make sure that everything was still working. So that's where everything is going. Um, as for my dad, um, we've, tr we've tried like 100 different ways to get him out this way. Well, now we're going to try 100 different ways to change to get him out another way. Um, so right now... Um, I had an amazing conversation with selfless and you know, I'm thinking when selfless goes back to LA, I'm going to go back and scream with him. Um, I want to see if I can steal Pearl and bring Pearl with me um, because I want her loud voice to be like, Bob Ferris, your daughter's out here. You know, all the things that I can't do. Blake is absolutely in our village. Yes. Absolutely. A part of this village. So, um, if you guys have any questions, please definitely throw them in the chat. Um, don't forget to say hello to everyone, but, uh, yes, Pearl would be amazing for all of that. Um, uh, please tell us when you go. My, my plan right now is hitting it in, uh, May or June, um, because right now April's too late and Anita, thank you so very much for coming a family member. I appreciate you lady. I appreciate you. Um, let's make sure it pops up. There we go. Um, and now the kids are having fun. Um, would I drive or fly? I would probably fly to LA only because it, it, it basically, it's like an eight hour drive. And for those of you that did not know, I have half a colon. And so that eight hour drive takes me like 10 to 12 hours. So, um, yeah, I, I try not to torture Carrie like that. Um, Melody, thank you so very much for becoming a family member for a month now. Thank you so much. Now you get to. Yes, you're welcome, Liz. Dave Bob Ferris, F. Sainto. Let me tell you, I want to make it out to Pearl. Um, if any of you guys have an idea of, you know, how to make it out there, um, Definitely let me know because I, I think I'm in desperate need of actually face-to-face -face contact and getting a hug from Pearl. Um, that That is my next goal for right now, everybody. My goal is to, to be able to get a hug from Pearl because when I've felt my lowest, everybody, she picked up the phone. When I felt like I had nothing left to give, she picked up the phone. And that to me speaks volumes of character and she still screamed my dad's name. So my, my next goal, as much as I would like to make it down to LA, my next goal is honestly going to make it to Texas. So Dallas, Texas, I'm coming for you in the next like 30 to 60 days or as soon as I have it. Um, maybe a donate village to Pearl. Yeah, that'd be, yes, yes. I would clutch my pearls. Anita, thank you so very much for gifting one membership. Whoever got that, please, definitely, don't forget to say thank you. I don't really have a clutch the pearls. I could, oh, my goodness, I clutch my pearls. I don't do it the same, but I definitely try. DBI41, thank you so very much for donating a membership. Now, welcome to the family. Valerie. Hi, Liz. Love you so very much. I'm grateful for you sharing your life. and yourself with us. Well, that's what family does, right? But yes, that is my overall goal next, everybody, is I'm going to make it out to, to man. Uh, well, I want to make it out to Mandy. Um, but my next goal is making it out to Texas. 
that is where um, I'm going to do the best that I can. Emma, thank you so very much for becoming a family member. I appreciate Oh, for a month. That's fantastic. So thank you so very much. Damn. You're fine. I know. I'm on. I'm talking, and now you want to talk. Now it's just us talking. Um, my birthday's the 26th. Well, Tony, don't forget to write. Mandy, write. Yeah. Enough. So, um, thank you, everyone. Um, I know quite a few of you had messaged and asked how I could make it out to, to Pearl. Um, it, let me tell you that, that I've so far looked at it. It's a five hour flight if I'm looking at it correctly. Um, and it'll be, it'll be interesting cause I'm not a huge fan, but I'm a huge fan of Pearl. So eventually I'm going to make it out nine days to raise 3000 $140 to reach the goal for KK's family. We have, that is fantastic. If anybody can pop up the GoFundMe for KK, we are so close to meeting that for her family. Realistically, we lost a voice. Yes, we lost a voice and let's, let's not hide that voice. And soon I'll have a tattoo that shows that voice because I want her to be remembered forever. Easy. Me, thank you so much for being a member for a month. Thank you so much for becoming a family member. I don't have the GoFundMe link. Um, I got paid today so I can donate. Um, um, uh, Dan, uh, where is all of Pearl's people? Um, hold on. Um, let's see. Where is your gelin? You are gelling. Where's you are gelling? You found it? Okay. Cause I'm like, I'm looking through everything I got. Everything I got. I, I don't have that. I'm so sorry. Found. Okay. Um, I want to hold on one second. I want to see you when you come to Texas. Um, want to meet Pearl and whatever else too. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. I'm going to be, I'm going to be out there and showing her some love. I can't wait to give her a big hug. And you know what? Thank her for helping give restoring faith that that I had some amazing friends. Same with Alicia. Alicia lives out there, and there's a puppy that's screaming my name. He's like, bah, 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 bah. Tell you what you I'm telling you, one of those puppies definitely does it. And yes, I will absolutely do a, a meetup with everybody. You know, we can meet at the org and scream together. Yes, every little bit counts. Here is the GoFundMe, um, or or not. Yes, the HTTP GoFundMe. You just have to click on it and put it in another cursor. Bam, you're killing me today. You're killing me, Smalls. You're killing me. Yes, we would be a hoot. We would be a hoot. I'm telling you, not all of it would be recorded because I would need to laugh. Yeah, Mandy never drops the ball. Never, ever. Um, but eventually, you know, for those of you that live in Texas, I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm going to do everything that I can to, before I go back to work, see, see Miss Pearl. You know, I want to, I want to at least do that. Tampa B-Man, thank you so very much for the super sticker. I appreciate you. My dog does too, obviously. Thank you so very much. I, I love you guys. Okay, I think it's time that I had to get off, guys. Um, I know that the Venmo does pop up occasionally. If not, um, this is KK's GoFundMe. Um, if anybody wants to throw into the meeting in Texas, definitely let me know because I want it in the next 30 to 60 days. So, bizarre. Couldn't super chat, but I could do a sticker. Well, that's weird. That's weird. I'm sorry that it's having some issues. Okay. Thank you for the super chat. I appreciate it. Sorry I wouldn't let you do it. Fleet Factory. Bye, Liz. Have an awesome day, everyone. Yes, Fleet Factory. Thank you so very much. I'm sorry. He's getting louder. Um, I will see if I can come on later, everybody. But above all else, thank you so very much. Love you. Stop.
Um, and I will race you to the comments. And Pearl, I will see you soon. And Dan walks. That means you're going to have to head back to, to Texas. Um, selfless self, that means you're going to have to give me a hug. All right. I'll talk to you guys soon. Love you. See you in the comments. Talk to you soon.